Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. Today's video is a video I didn't expect to be doing when I put this book on my TBR, but I'm here for a reading vlog and this reading vlog is sponsored by Danielle from Danielle Reads getting up in my comments and saying she wanted a reading vlog. So you got it. She's getting it. Here we go. Okay, so I'm here to read The Last House on Needless Street by Catriona Ward. We love this cover, okay? We love this cover. It's cute. There's a cat. There's a spooky house. Stephen King has a blurb at the bottom. Oh, so we're expecting scary, okay? We know how I go into my books. I don't know anything generally. What I do know is I... What I think I know, let me rephrase that, is that there are people living in this house and they're not allowed out and then somebody moves in next door. Girl, I don't know. That is that what happens? Something terrible is buried in the forest at the end of Needless Street. Okay, cool. A true nerve shredding... Whoa, I can't read apparently. A true nerve shredder that keeps its mind blowing secrets to the very end. Thank you, Mr. Stephen King, for telling me that. So, it's not that long, I don't think. A, there's a bibliography in the back. What the frick? 333 pages. As of, I'm pretty sure the afterword, I didn't want to look too closely. So max, there's 333 pages. So it's not that long, okay? I am going to go read it. I'll come back. Probably at the 25%. I might do a read like 25%. I'll like pop in and be like, it's not feeling. But yeah, so come along with me. Um, maybe I'll finish this book today. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, gotta go. Bye. I'm in the dark where nobody sees me. o'clock in the evening. Um, I'm halfway through Amy's Sunday Sum Up that I'm watching. I paused it to speak with you. Before I started watching Amy's video though, I um, got to, where's my book? 25% of The Last House on Needless Street. And I just have a quick thing to say. Um, 25%, I'm not very far. I'm like 90 pages in. Like I'm not far, okay? So the first couple chapters i was like what the heck am i reading um this is weird i don't know i don't understand so we have three perspectives we go through and they kind of alternate each chapter and the male character ted i really spent a while being like how old is this dude and i still don't know and i'm assuming he lives in I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to say something and then it'd be wrong and then it'd be a spoiler. I don't know. So I spent up until this point trying to figure out how old he is. And I don't know. I don't know how old he is. I don't know. And then the other two perspectives, one of them, I'm still, I don't know. I'm unsure about. And then the other third perspective, I'm like, okay, this is the person that knows information. Like this is a person who is of sound mind and body to give me information. Does that make sense? Like everybody else is like not reliable. Like I don't know what they're doing and I'm really enjoying it. I I added the audiobook to the last chapter that I read to listen and read along because I just felt like I just needed that little extra push and 
it really did, it gave me the push that I needed to keep reading. And I'm not saying this is bad or anything, it just like, where my brain was at today, it like slogged a little bit, but I got really into it and I wanna keep reading, but it's nighttime, it's dark outside and something happened or like Ted said something and I got really kind of scared a little bit. So I'm gonna pause this for this evening and I'm gonna go start something that will not scare me. And yeah, so we'll get back to this tomorrow and I'll see you guys when I hit the 50% mark. Bye. Okay, here we are. Um, I'm 50% of the way through with The Last House on Needless Street. Let's get into it. I kind of have things to say. Honestly, this book, I know we are halfway through the vlog, people. Because we're halfway through the book, so we're halfway through the vlog. I don't know if this is a book that needs to stand alone on its own vlog. And I say that because I don't know what the hell is happening. I don't know what's happening. So we have Ted, okay? We talked about Ted. Ted is the main male character. He lives in this house. He lives in the house. And I never know what he's doing. I never know what's happening. I never know what he's doing. He always like goes off and does stuff and he meets like, he tries to online date or whatever and he's got this cat, but like nothing he does makes sense because I don't know what's real. I don't know what's real. Like this is like hurting my brain because I don't know what's real. I don't know what he says is real. I don't know if the cat's even real. I don't know if his daughter is real. I don't know what's real. So Ted is just there, okay? And then we have Olivia. Olivia is actually the cat, okay? And I'm almost positive that Olivia is like a cat, like she's actually a cat, but I don't know how reliable she is because she's a cat. So she calls other humans Ted's, but lowercase Ted. And then her Ted, she calls him upper, like capital T Ted, right? So she's always like, oh, Lady Ted's at the door. So she's talking about like other humans are Ted's, right? I don't know, I don't know what's real with her because she's a cat, right? And so we get her perspective. And then we have Dee, and Dee is the older sister of a girl named Lulu who went missing pre in the past, right? And Dee is trying to find out who murdered or kidnapped or whatever, Lulu, and I guess she thinks it's Ted for whatever reason. So she moves in like next door or across the street and now she's stalking Ted. That's it. I don't know what's happening. I don't know who to believe. I don't know if Ted literally has a brain cell in his head. Like he always talks about his mom like she's actually there. Like his mama, is his mom a ghost? I don't know and he calls his therapist the bug guy and Ted has a daughter and I don't know if his daughter is real and if she is real I don't know how old she is so that's the moral of the story 50% of the way through I don't know who to believe or what the heck is happening I'm really enjoying the writing though like even though I don't know what's happening and I don't trust anybody the writing is actually really good in the sense of like it makes me want to keep going because I'm trying to figure out what the heck is happening, you know? So, yeah, that that's it. Um, I'm hoping to finish this book tonight. So you might see me tomorrow kind of popping in and being like, hey, I finished. Or maybe I'll come back at the 75% mark. I don't know. But this is bonkers. Because I don't know what's happening ever in this book, right? So... Anyway, that's all on that. I have Magic Treehouse live show soon, so if you're coming to that, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here I am, a couple days later. I'm at the 75% mark. We're still going. This is what it looks like. What is happening? There's so much happening. And I really think I'm doing reading experiments with like the group chat right now. And I really think that after I film this, I'm gonna finish the book quickly because this is just getting absolutely crazy. So we're kind of learning more about the characters and we're 
we're learning that nothing makes sense and everyone is crazy. That's all I have to say. Nothing makes sense and everyone is crazy. So Ted is still being Ted. And my new favorite character is Olivia because Olivia girl, you're the cat. <laughs> and you do a great job of being the cat. And that's all I have to say. I really wish I knew how to describe books properly without giving away too much. So I hope I did a good job. But I really am starting to like the writing because as it's going on, and I, while I might not be learning as much, I'm not like getting really deep with these characters because they're not telling me things. I, the writing is getting more suspenseful. It's getting more dramatic. It's getting where I do not want to put it down. And I'm trying to hustle and finish this book before the sun goes down because I don't want to be scared later. And I have a feeling I might be scared later, but at the same time, I don't get scared via horror things to as much as I used to so we'll see I just got a I just got a brain that loves to never stop moving you know um so yeah that's all I have for that update it's like 3 30 4 o'clock and while I should imagine what I want for dinner the only thing I can think about is a giant glass of water to I actually three I can think about three drinks right now a giant glass of water, a giant glass of water that has like cr a crystal light in it, and then a dark pepper. <laughs> if I could have all three of those drinks just right in front of me, I'd be so happy. But I can only provide two of those three drinks. I have no Dr. Peppers and that's sad. Anyway, yeah, that's all that's going on. Um, I have been watching Great British Baking Show. Let's, let's update my life. I've been watching Great British Baking Show. I'm on Mexican week. I'm in the middle of that episode. It's really good. I'm laughing because these people don't know, they're British, they don't know anything about Mexico. Um, I just think that's funny that they're like talking about them and they're like, yeah, I don't know what this is. And I'm like, you're the worst. Yeah, there's actually, there's a whole lot more that I could say, but I really don't think that this crowd would want to hear that. Um, but I'm moving, I'm grooving. Um, trying to be Kayla. That's all really I can say. I'm trying to be my most authentic self so that I could be my happiest self. And I'm gonna get deep for a second. So hopefully my, hopefully we got to know each other a little bit. Please, please, please. Do not let anybody dull your sparkle. Like, you are so amazing and you're so wonderful, but do not let anybody tell you that you're not because everybody's life is different and everybody's path is different and you can't live your path if someone is dulling who you are and telling you that you are not worth anything. So with that, um, go off. You will not go off. You will still be here. I'm gonna go off and get my drinks, my mini a drinks, um, maybe a little snack instead of dinner because I had kind of a later lunch and I'm gonna finish this book. So I'm gonna finish this book, y'all. I'll see you soon. Okay, so it is not many hours later but I'm back. I finished The Last House on Needless Street by Katrina Ward and how do I feel? Because Olivia is the cat, it is very confusing because she is a cat and she gets her own kind of perspective and like chapters where she is like the narrator and I found that really interesting that we got a cat narrator and it didn't feel weird. It didn't feel childish. Like she didn't feel human, but she also didn't totally feel like a cat because she was narrating her part of the story. And t and then with Ted, Ted was interesting because he was a drunk, but like there were things going on that you didn't really understand because like 
Ted is middle-aged, but I spent the majority of the book being like, I don't know how old he is based on how he acts. I don't know. Um, because he was giving middle-aged vibes, but like he was also giving like young guy vibes. Like he was giving like early 20s kind of vibes. And Ted actually has like his mom who had passed away like a long time, like a long, long time before. He kind of feels her presence and she's not a ghost, but like he feels like this energy of her around and he kind of doesn't know why he can why he just keeps having her around right and then lauren lauren is just there you know i don't really want to get into lauren anyway so d d is the other perspective side character that we get she's not really the main character but d's sister i think i've mentioned this before um goes missing when she was younger and d kind of makes it her life mission to figure out what happened to her sister and with that she's found her way to needless street so that's honestly as much as i can say about this book without giving away the whole thing um and ruining for you so i'm gonna stop it there but there is an i wouldn't say issue there is a theme there is a plot device there is a um thing that the author kind of brings to the table and I don't know how to discuss this because I don't really know very much about it and I think that the author is using it respectfully. I think that was the idea, the way she wanted to do it, but I can't tell you yes or no if she did this correctly or not. I did enjoy this book a lot and it really gave me some twists and turns. I'm gonna say right now I gave it four stars. I really liked it. So four stars. An interesting story. I don't think I've ever read anything even close to what this gave me and I think that's why I found it so interesting and I was okay with the fact that I was constantly like I don't know what's going on and that was fun for me. Usually books that have this many perspectively narrated chapters I get confused and I don't really have a good time but specifically for this it really felt that every different perspective was like in charge of their chapter if that makes sense like the author it didn't feel like one person was writing three different three or four different characters it was like each person was in charge of their own chapter right and I think that was just so well done on the author's part. I really enjoyed that. Nothing felt wrong in the way that I was reading because each character was so individually them that there were always like hidden gems everywhere. And I felt that they all gave me what they needed to give. With that, I actually really recommend this book. And if you're looking for something that's like horror, but is also giving you a lot of other things and is a little weird and you really have to focus like this isn't a no thoughts head empty this is like you need to be paying attention kind of read I recommend it to you as I said in the beginning of this video this video is sponsored by Danielle um over at Danielle Reads I say sponsored it was in it was introduced by Danielle and Danielle thank you for telling me to do this vlog because it was actually really fun I had a good time obviously and let me know Danielle down in the comments if you agree with what I said or you disagree with what I said and if you've read this book also get me down in the comments and tell me what you're thinking how you're feeling what you're doing if you haven't read this book let me know if I have persuaded you to read it okay so that is all I have for you guys and don't forget to like comment subscribe do everything you need to do to help on my channel and I will check you guys in my next video bye